all over the world, there are many types of fans. There are the hooligan fans, there are racist fans, there are passionate fans, and there are also dead fans. And today, I am going to be talking about the worst types of football fans on this planet. Football fans that I just despise and wish that they never existed. Here we go. Glory hunters suck. You could be supporting, they could be supporting Man City one week, then they'll be supporting Liverpool the next week after they win, then they'll be supporting Chelsea in a month. It will be ridiculous. These fans are dead. They will. They are not proper fans when they claim to be. When they switch teams to teams that have recently won stuff, won Champions Leagues, won trophies, these sorts of fans just nah. They're a no go. You can't be friends with me if you're a glory hunter. Anyone who supports Manchester United or Manchester City, don't get me wrong. There are some very good fans that come from Man United, that support Man United and Man City. Man City fans get most of the hate because a lot of them are glory hunters and are just there because they have a lot of money. But there are also some fans that are there because their dad supported them since 1986. Fans that have supported them before this whole takeover malarkey. But then there are the fans that just support Man United and Man City because they're big clubs. That's literally the only reason they support them is because they have money and they're big clubs. Like, I know I, I know a Man City fan. I know a Man City fan. He's good, though, because apparently I, I called him out a lot for being a City fan and how he wouldn't be supporting them if it wasn't for the takeover. But then I found out his dad supported him and I just kind of shut up, shut up about it. But then there's... And then I've got two other friends who support United and they're all right as well, but... You don't live anywhere near Manchester. If you wanted to go see a Manchester United home game, you have to travel six hours up north. Um, it'll, be a long, it'll be like a basically an away day for a home game. Southampton, I only have to travel an hour down to Southampton if I wanted to watch a home game. And I live near some other clubs as well. I live near an hour away from London as well. So if I wanted to go to a London away day or a home game, max I have to drive is an hour. So it's very good for me, but then Man City and Man United fans are basically having an away day for a home day. Apparently there are more Man City fans in Manchester than United fans, which is malarkey, because Man you have been around longer, and if you support, live in Manchester, you should support the club with more heritage. But yeah, that I just don't like Man United and Man City fans. Some of them are good, some of them are just dead. Fans with no ball knowledge absolutely grind my gears. You, they have, they are so delusional, and they just don't understand what football is. I understand Southampton are bad. I don't need every day when I come into school. Oh, have you heard about Southampton and how they lost to Grimsby? That is not what I need. I already know that we're bad. I don't need fifteen people coming at me saying you're bad because you got relegated. I know. As well, fans that just uh, fans that also change the subject. You could be like, oh, you could be like, oh, how f Chelsea lost to Aston Villa. That's so funny, mate. But then they're like, you're re uh, you're really bad. Chelsea are so bad. And then like, well, Southampton got relegated, didn't they? Yeah, but I'm not talking about Southampton, am I? I'm talking about Chelsea fans that just change the subject onto your club. When they did something bad, someone flipping came up. Someone, I have a friend who supports Tottenham, and whenever I say Tottenham lost this game, Tottenham aren't that good. Haven't been very good this season. They're like, well, guess what? I what? This is exactly what he said to me. He said, well, guess what? I watched a TikTok that so that proves we're good. I saw a TikTok that said most Champions League finals, if most Champions League wins, if they didn't lose the final and Tottenham have won, that's better than Southampton. Bro's literally using an excuse that they lost the final to prove that they're good. It's just it's those fans dead. Finally, the fans that annoy me the most. The other fans annoy me very much, but these are the fans that annoy me the most. Fans that do not bother to go to matches. Let me just tell you this. If you don't go to matches, 
You're not a football fan of that club. You don't have to go to every seat match. You don't have to go if you've never. You don't need to go to every match. You don't need to spend thousands of quid going to away days up in Newcastle when you live in live in Plymouth. No, you don't need to. What you you just need to go to like a couple of games a season, and that's fine. But people that don't do that and they just sit at home, look at one football like, oh, we're winning 4-0, Man, um, up Man City. Those fans are dead. Those fans don't deserve to be football fans. Those fans are the deadest fans of them all. And that is going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching me ranting for a couple of minutes. And I will see you in the next video.